I wonder if it's weird for you guys to just see me. It's like I'm waiting for Matt to say, welcome to the video, Matt and Emma here. <laughs> so it feels quite weird doing an intro without him. <laughs> well, it feels weird doing a whole video without him, but here we are. <laughs> welcome to the video, guys. No Matt today. It's just me. <laughs> Matt is back working in the office today and I'm still working from home full time. And you know what? I've wanted to film this video for a while. As you can see from the title, today I'm gonna be trying, attempting <laughs> to eat like waffles of Layla, if you know her on YouTube, or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, Layla on Instagram. I am a creature of habit with my meals. So if I find a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and dessert, and snacks that I like, I tend to just repeat them and I don't think that's a bad thing because if you enjoy what you eat, it doesn't matter how many times you repeat it. But with this lockdown 3.0 and continuing to work from home full time, I thought I'm going to step out of my comfort zone, even for just the day. <laughs> Try and make some new recipes, see how I get on trying some of Layla's and yeah, I mean... There's only so much harm that can do. Quick shout out to you, Layla. Of course, you know we adore you and thank you so much for your constant support, your generosity, and just how welcoming you are in general. If you guys follow Layla, you'll see she's always back and forth with people in DMs. She's always commenting back on her videos and you just genuinely take the time to connect with people that follow you and watch your videos and just enjoy your content. And that's us included. I mean, we still were learning, but when we were very, very early doors and we had absolutely no idea Layla would still be commenting on our videos taking the time to watch our videos welcoming us in you know sharing our channel sharing our Instagram and just helping each other out and I just think it's incredibly important to take note of that and yeah you're a legend so thank you anyway as always as you do on the day you start with breakfast and actually I'll show you me making breakfast and then we can have a little rundown on what breakfast is. <laughs> okay, now I don't have one of those little cutters that Layla has for the top, so I'm just gonna have to improvise on that one. Maybe freehand it, see how we go. I can confirm jam does not spread as easily as Nutella or Biscoff. <laughs> Freehanding this heart. I mean, for a freehanded heart, I don't think that's too bad. It's a bit wonky, but aren't they all? Final touch. Where should we put you? Yeah. yeah. So for breakfast, I have made Layla's Jammy Dudger pancakes. She posted this on her Instagram a little while ago. These are just her vegan pancakes. I've never actually made vegan pancakes before. So this was interesting and it worked pretty well. So I had my first meeting of the day, quickly made these. I'm gonna eat these. <laughs> and then I have back-to-back -back meetings for a few hours. So I will catch you guys at lunch. Oof, I am pretty, oh, always happens. Yummy. The best bit. It is lunchtime. So first of all, those are Domino's boxes in the background. They were in the oven, out of the way, out of sight, out of mind, but now my lunch is in the oven, so they're on display. Layla makes a lot of different interesting lunches. Well, breakfast, lunch, and dinners, but as we all know, I'm not the most creative. I'm not the most very good at presentation. And I also like food that doesn't take too long. <laughs> So what I've decided to make of Layla's is a chickpea kale and cheese toasty. Now we don't have a proper like grill toasty, but we have an old, an old like bog standard one, you know, that's just like flat, it's not like ridged. And I think that'll do the trick. 
but we'll see. So the chickpeas are in the oven. I mixed it up. She uses a bunch of spices. I'll put all of Layla's links below because they are her recipes and the methods and stuff are in her videos and Instagram and she just knows how to do them as they're meant to be done. <laughs> so I'll leave them all down below if you do want to make and recreate any of these that I make today. Okay. Got our bread and have this cheese. Is that gonna... Hmm. I feel like that's not gonna... The cheese isn't gonna melt to the edges there. Might add another half in each because you've got to love a cheese pull, right? That should do. Kale. Layla pushes it down so that it doesn't squidge out. Right, I've not used this toaster in a very long time, so I'm hoping it still works. On at the plug. I think that's turning on. Then, God, how'd you keep it all in? <laughs> Maybe I should take a lesson from Matt's book and follow things specifically to their steps. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my goodness, I thought it wasn't recording then. I thought I'd been talking to myself the whole time. Well, <laughs> I still am talking to myself, but you know what I mean. Now, bring this fella over here. Jeez Louise, that's so hot already. It's only been on two minutes. Right, wish us luck. Okay, I'm going in. I think that's ready. Ah, here's the question. Are you a vertical cutter or a diagonal? Hmm. You know, normally I'd actually say diagonal, but for the sake of this, I think I'm gonna do it straight down the middle. How's that then? Ooh, do you know what? I don't think that's too bad at all. I do think it could probably have done with a bit more cheese because you can't really see any cheese in there. But I'm happy with that. I'm well aware that I've just made a toasty, and to some, that is not overly impressive, but I thought I was still gonna mess that up somehow, so I'm happy with that. Looks lovely. Is that too hot? Am I gonna burn my mouth? Probably. There's actually a fair amount of cheese in there. It was just hiding from us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can you hear that? I think that toast is about to take off. I'm just gonna adjust the camera because this is me if I stand upright. <laughs> all in all, happy with that. Quick and easy lunch, in between meetings and work and stuff. Happy days. The typical thing that I always do. Making myself a green tea and then forgetting about it and that is very cold. <laughs> so it has been a little while since my chickpea lunch and it's now time for my mid-afternoon snack or belated lunchtime dessert. Yesterday, was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday I made Layla's banana bread. Never had a vegan banana bread or cake before or made one myself and it went pretty well if I toot my own horn. I have a slice of that here and I of course have put some Biscoff on top. What do you reckon to that then? Now I have tried this already, obviously I made it a couple days ago and this is the second to last slice left. <laughs> So it doesn't last long in this house and I have tried it with Biscoff before already as well and it is a killer combo. Gone so soon.
Okay, welcome back. I finished work, the jogging bottoms are on, the slippers are still on, and I put on a warmer top underneath because it is freezing in this house. As you would have seen, I've just made Layla's cheesy polenta with mushroom shallots mix. I don't know, I think it went okay. So as I was making this, I was following Layla's video, step by step, just copying her method as she made it to make sure that I didn't go completely wrong. The mushrooms in particular, I'll start to think, do you know what, that doesn't look like what I think it should. But then as I let it simmer, and I did the polenta, it did start to come together a little bit, I think. I think it looks pretty similar to Layla's. I'm intrigued to try this. There's a lot of stuff in here that I have never ever tried before, which is, as I said at the start of the video, a big reason of why I wanted to do it because this has stepped out, you know, this has pushed me out of my comfort zone. This has made me step out of my comfort zone. So I've never tried polenta. I've never tried shiitake mushrooms. I actually can't recall cooking with a shallot. I always cook with onions. And I mean, that's the vast majority of this dish. <laughs> so a lot of this is new to me and I'm intrigued to try. A little bit of everything on the fork. Moment of truth. Mm. I think I've done really well there. Oh my, that polenta. It's like mashed potato, but a lot lighter. And it's so easy. What have I been doing this whole time? Mashed potato sometimes takes so long. Go and boil the potato, then you've got to mash the potato, then you've got to stir the potato. you just got to put polenta powder in, water, add cheese if you like, and then you're done. I will 100% be making this again. It's like perfect for the weather at the minute. It's like hearty, but not too heavy. Okay, just like me, Layla cannot have a meal without something sweet afterwards. So I'm gonna finish this and then decide what I'm gonna have for dessert. Cause I have a few options that I know Layla has, but I'm not quite sure what I fancy yet. So I'll see how I feel after this and then catch you guys at dessert. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I ended up having dessert quite late last night. So I thought maybe it'd be better to just run through what I had for dessert now, which was a green tea, which I know Layla really, really enjoys, especially in the evenings, along with a original Nomo bar and a few Oreos. Of course, I couldn't do a video eating like Layla without having some Oreos and the Nomo bars, which are of course vegan, are really really good even if you're not vegan i recommend trying them one more shout out to you layla thank you again for everything and let me know how i did so i think i'm just going to call it there for today's video but thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed i know it was a little bit different with it being just me for this one but let me know what you thought in the comment section below as always if you did enjoy please do smash the thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe because we have some really, really exciting videos coming up and we are chasing that 10K subscriber mark. <laughs> Thank you again for watching and stay tuned for our next video, which will be out on Wednesday. And as Matt always says, wherever you are, stay safe, take care, and we will see you very, very soon.